Okay, this video is on solving my hidden message from June 28th, 2016. And three or four of you actually made it to the URL in the hidden message. But let's go ahead and go through the process of decoding that message. Now, if you watched that video, it was a QR code that was looked like it was changing. It's because it was a number of QR codes. So the thing, most of these, the first thing you need to do is download the video. Now, this is the URL for that video. And I'm going to use, I like using YouTube DL to download the video. Now, before we just download, if you just do that, it's going to run and download the highest quality copy, which is probably what you want to do if, when you're um, decoding a message like this. But just for this video, I'm going to show you, if you do dash capital F, instead of downloading the video, it's going to tell us all the different formats the video comes in, and it comes in different resolutions. And just, just for educational purposes, uh, I thought, okay, let's see what is the smallest quality I can get that the QR still work. And the smallest quality here is this 3GP, which is like an old cell phone format. The only place I've ever seen it used other than YouTube, it, and I guess it's for you know these old cell phones, and it's a very low resolution. Now, if I download that video, it will still decode the QR code, but I think the frame rate is slow because it misses the hidden message. It decodes a bunch of the QR codes, but it misses the message. So I worked my way back up. The next one I did was um, uh, this, uh, this MP4 uh, 256 uh, by 144. Now, it says frames per second, 24 frames per second. I know the original video was 30 frames a second, so theoretically this could miss our message as well. But in this particular example, it does work. So I'm just going to do that because the reason that this is just to save space, it downloads faster and we're going to have to extract those frames, which is a lot of frames, and the lower the resolution is, the less hard drive space and the quicker our decoding process is going to go. But if you didn't know this, you didn't know it was going to work, always go with the best quality to begin with. So the way this is going to work is you're going to type in a YouTube-DL, this time dash F, uh, lowercase f instead of uppercase f. And we're going to give it this number here. And so it's telling to download that particular compression of the video. And then again, we're going to give it the URL to the video, which is this right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that and it should only take a few seconds to download. It's not very big. Yeah, you can see that, that at that resolution and that compression, it's less than two megabytes. Uh, so not very big at all. Now, let's extract all the frames. So we're gonna go FFmpeg, uh, which you'll see me consistently use to extract videos. There's other ways of doing it, but that's the way I do it. Uh, FFmpeg, the name of our video. And then we're gonna say, give it a name, image, but then we'll do percent D, and that will just number the images in order. Uh, and you can do PNG or JPEG, I'm going to do PNG. Although, I'm going to hit enter, it doesn't take long to do this. Uh, one of the people who did make it said they did uh, a bitmap, uh, which will be larger file size, but supposedly the decoding uh, might be a little bit faster because decoding or the bitmap doesn't have to be as decompressed. So for each image, instead of taking a half a second, it might take a quarter of a second. I'm just throwing numbers out there. So that's something to think about, but I'm just gonna go with PNG because that's what I've tested so far. So now I can say Z bar image, which is a program we've used in the past. It's to decode barcodes, not just QR codes, but uh, UPCs and other types of barcodes. Uh, and I'm gonna do dash Q just to keep it quiet. It just gets rid of some of the header stuff on the output. And I'm gonna say dot PNG. When I press that, it starts outputting the QR codes, the decoded QR codes for each of the image, each of the frames of the video. And you can see most of them are, basically I just put timestamps in there. I could have put anything in there. But you might have saw flashing, a few of them were a little bit longer. That's because there's URLs in there. And since we know we're looking for a URL, uh, we can now go through that. Now, again, something you might do if you didn't know exactly what you're looking for is instead of doing what I'm about to do, which is grep through that output, you could dump that output to a single text file and you can go then sort through it faster uh, if you need to sort through it more than once because it doesn't have to decode the image each time. But I, I, I know that I'm looking for a URL. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I would do is use grep, let's clear the screen here, grep, and I can search for HTTP. But I don't know, it may not even have HTTP in it. I might have left that off in the URL. But I can tell you right now, I did not. HTTP is in the string of text we're looking for. 
I'm going to say dash I, because you don't know whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So this would be the first thing I did after dumping out that data. So now doing that, now it's going through each of those, and there we go. This is the one you want. But if you let it keep on running for a little bit longer, it will find another URL. Uh, but this is the one that we're looking for here. I even wrote this is the one you want. This other one, this one, just promotes a video on my second channel, is what it says. So you can go watch that video, or go to this video and see that hidden video. And that is it. Uh, the next video, again, these are going to progressively get harder. So yeah, that's all you had to do. All you had to do was decode the QR codes, but there was lots of them in the video. I don't even know. Uh, here, let's let's um, list. So in that video, there were about 2,270 frames, because 71 of the video is inside this folder. So, so about just over 2,000 frames you had to go through. Obviously, you can't go through with your cell phone and click on each one of those. It would take forever. The whole point of these, these little hidden messages is to get you typing out some basic commands, at least, um, and get you using the shell, hopefully, or whatever programming language you want to use. But that is how you can decode that. I hope you found that useful, and uh, either tomorrow or the next day, I will post a new hidden message video. And, uh, and again, they're going to progressively get harder. I hope that you guys figure them out. And uh, congratulations to those four people who made it to the hidden video. Just to give a shout out to those uh, few people who did decode that message, and uh, I probably should have practiced saying these names. So, Flaff Design, okay, <laughs> and Shaytal 100 and Skorsk, okay. So, three people made it to the hidden video, and congratulations on you guys figuring that out. And uh, also, you know, as you're solving these, these guys gave little comments on some of the stuff they did. Um, I'd like to hear how you solved it, because you might have solved video uh, these codes different ways, or hidden messages different ways. Uh, for example, uh, this guy basically did what I did, but threw an extra step in there, which really wasn't needed, uh, adjusting the colors of the image using Mortify, which is part of the image, pa uh, Im image magic package of uh, programs. Uh, this is the guy, he suggested um, converting to a, a BMP, a bitmap, uh, just because it will uh, decode a little bit faster. Uh, and, uh, and he did what I suggested, which is dump it all to a text file, and then you can look through that text file, rather than uh, decoding a number of times if you're not 100% sure what you're looking for. So yeah, thanks to those three people who made it, and uh, I think it's great that people are making it. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen as these get harder. I hope that people still make it. And uh, if not, you know, you'll learn as we go, as I show you how to solve them. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.